Around Cleveland, brought to you by Spitzer Auto World. Life is hard, car buying shouldn't be. Hey everyone, welcome back to The List. After 60 years, maybe it's time for a change, Browns fans. Brian McElhatton had the top three stories taking the field around Cleveland. At number one, the Browns' simple design is decidedly old school. And after 60 some odd years, we've kept it that way. It goes back to the no-nonsense attitude of Paul Brown. No logo, couldn't be bothered. The design the Browns wear today was introduced in 1952. For a few years, a number was added to the side, but taken away in 1962, and that design remains. Well, until next year, when the simple helmet will make two changes. They know what they're all about. They don't need a lot of flash and blitz. Here's what's different. The color orange will get a facelift and the stripe will get a texture. Here we go. Ooh, ooh. And number two, party like it's 1933. <laughs> to celebrate the day the government repealed the 21st Amendment, Prosperity Social Club is celebrating with a Prohibition era party tonight. Then head downtown tomorrow morning at 9 to see thousands of leg lamps and bunnies running in the annual Christmas Story 5K and 10K. And University Circle hosts its annual Circle Fest on Sunday. Free live music, museums, ice skating, and more. At number three, the Wadsworth couple are paying tribute to the 25th anniversary of National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. According to the Osterlands, they're only spending about 20 bucks a month. Everybody come on, the light. Lights go on at dusk and stay on for five hours. Now you're caught up and clued in Around Cleveland. Around Cleveland, brought to you by Spitzer Auto World. Life is hard, car buying shouldn't be.